Hi everyone, Alex will beam it up, and yes, I know I have to solve, but this is priority number one. Because I woke up today, and I realized that we haven't talked about pipe systems yet. So let's get to it. See you there. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to create pipe systems in Revit MEP. We're going to create a new project from a template. We have done that in the past. If you don't know how to do that, you can go ahead and check out any of our videos. Links are going to be in the description. You have one that is how to create an HVAC project and another one that is how to create a plumbing project. So any of those would help you or even both. Um, let's do a little bit of an introduction in Python systems because it's very important to know what we're doing. So, so far we've talked a lot about pipe types, right? But we need to know the difference and have, them, have it very clear, the difference between pipe types and pipe systems. So, pipe types. We have talked about threaded pipe types, for example, it can be a, you know, schedule 40 steel threaded piping. You can also have a combined uh, pipe type, which can be a grooved and threaded pipe type. We already have a, a video on that as well. And we also have a video on how to create, um, this one would be like a glued PVC uh, pipe type. But so far, we don't know what's going on inside of those pipes. Where are pipe types? It's only the type of joints that we're using and fittings. But it has nothing to do with the fluid or what that pipe is really doing as far as a, a system, right? That's where pipe systems come into play. So a good example would be this uh, multiple restroom, for example. You have uh, your cold water serving your lavatories, your urinal, and your uh, water closets. And then you also have hot water ser serving your um, lavatories. So in this example, you, your pipe systems would be cold water and hot water. In that same multiple restroom, you could have two other systems or a combined system which is sanitary drainage which is picking up all the dirty water coming out of the lavatories and urinals and water closet and your air admitting system right or your vent sanitary vent system here in light blue so in this case if this would be the brace copper that would be the pipe type right and then the pipe system would be the cold water or the hot water and in this case, your uh, glued PVC could be your pipe type for your sanitary drainage, which is your system. And this um, air admitting or, or sanitary vent system, that's your system, okay? So it's, it's important to have that uh, clear distinction between pipe type and pipe systems. Um, we're gonna be talking about how to create pipe systems in Revit and that depends a lot on the categories of those pipes. And I'm gonna do a separate video on categories because it's really important and I don't wanna mix things up. And finally, we're gonna create two pipe systems, a hot water recirculating system and a storm system. So see you in Revit. Before anything, I'm gonna ask you that if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you get notifications. Okay, so the first thing to do would be to open our project or create a new project. In this case, I'm gonna create a new project from a template for those who haven't done that yet. And I remind you, if you wanna check those videos out, the, all the links are in the description, okay? We could either use a mechanical template or a plumbing template. I'm gonna go ahead and browse for the plumbing template. So plumbing default and then okay. And now we have our new project here, right? So let's go down to our families. And then here under under pipes, you'll find pipe types, right? And this is what we have been talking about in our previous videos, which is the type of fittings and the type of joints and pipe materials and all that. But now we're gonna focus on pipe systems, okay? So by default, this template has uh, pipe systems. So we have domestic cold water, domestic hot water. But for example, we don't have a, a domestic hot water recirculating system. So let's go ahead and explore this. 
so we understand what a uh, pipe system uh, what a pipe system entails so if we go here under type properties we'll see a property that's called system classification and that's probably the most important thing about pipe systems and I just realized that I used the word uh, I believe system category or category in the intro of the video I should have used the word classification and these are very important because these are hard-coded in Revit you cannot create one so if I if I go for example here right uh, if I stand under pipe system and I right click see that I have no no options to create new systems you, you could create a new system the easiest way to do it is to duplicate an existing one but for example let's say I have a domestic hot water here right and I want to rename this one right notice that the one thing is the system uh, name which is in this case domestic hot water and another one's the system classification so if I rename this to say AJS domestic hot water now my system has been renamed to AJS domestic hot water but my system classification is still domestic hot water and what does this mean well these are again hard-coded in Revit you cannot create a system classification you're stuck with what they have but they have quite a bit uh, they have a domestic cold water they have domestic hot water they have a bunch of fire protection they have a hydronic return and supply uh, but the important thing to know about this is that your system classification determines how your system behaves so for example it tells you what type of calculations you can do with your system so for example in this case your system classification being domestic hot water you can calculate flow parameters you can calculate performance which is you know typically pressure drops throughout your piping and in the case of domestic hot and cold water you can calculate either flow in fixture units or in GPM which is great uh, by the way if you want to just do uh, none and you don't want to use Revit as a smart tool that's gonna make your life easier you can also do that you know and you just do pretty 3d pipes uh, but in our case at least we would like to have a flow now keep in mind that if you do uh, all then you're calculating uh, all your flow parameters but also your performance which is pressure drops and all that and it's gonna slow down your system so make sure you pick only what you're taking advantage of so in this case for example let's keep it as flow only right and uh, let's keep exploring this a little bit you have your fluid type in this case again it's water you can create different type of fluids uh, you specify your fluid type uh, because with your fluid type and your fluid uh, temperature you're going to determine the, the the viscosity of the fluid so this is given by these two parameters this two fix the viscosity and that's going to determine your pressure drop in your pipes but again if you're not using uh, performance or all it this here doesn't really matter too much and well you can specify a type image and a very, this is very important the abbreviation so for domestic hot water let's do for example H uh, W and what this is going to fix is how your tags are gonna look so if you're tagging a pipe that is under domestic hot water uh, under AJS, domi AJS domestic hot water pipe um, system it's gonna be tagged with an H W we'll see that in the in the future and then you know some some uh, graphic options how you want your drops to look like your your rice so you can have either the yin yang or the outline or filled depending on your company standards and then the last thing i want to show you about this is the graphic overwrites where you determine if you want to have a, a different line pattern right you can have it solid you can have a dash you can have a dot but if you want to change it you, you can change it here then the color you know makes sense to keep it red for domestic hot water so I'm gonna rename this uh, pipe system type here and I'm gonna call it AJS domestic cold water and let's do a little test here if I draw a pipe notice that the pipe type itself which is the routing preferences it doesn't really matter what matters is here the system type which is basically our system name right so we have this two that we have renamed so let me do one for cold water right here 
Okay, and I'm done. I'm gonna do another pipe here. This one's gonna be domestic hot water, right? So here are two systems. As you can see, if I were to, let's say I wanna duplicate this, right? And I wanna create a new system that I don't have, which is, let's say, recirculating. So domestic hot water, let me call it recirc, right? So if I do a pipe under that system type, domestic hot water recirculation, it's gonna look exactly the same as the previous one that I that I had because I created by duplicating it, right? So we should go in here and then change the graphic overwrite to the appropriate line type. So let's do the three of them. Okay, so let's do cold water. We'll come here. Graphic overwrite and cold water is going to be uh, something like that looks like uh, let's say this one here, right? Is a long piece of line and then a short piece of line. We're going to keep it blue. Let's keep the weight by, by default as a no overwrite and let's see what happens. See, so this is how my line looks for cold water, so that's pretty decent. Let's go to hot water now. And uh, let's change that to, this will be a double dash, right? So something like this, pretty much. Let's keep it 3 eighths, so that to be consistent with the, with the previous one. And let's do okay. See, now we have our two little dashes here. And then hot water recirculation should have three, right? So let's go here. And we would have, let's see, they have a triple, uh, uh, there you go, so it would be something like this. Again, you would have to play a little bit with your with your scale, but that's basically what it is. So now we figure out our, our line types and our colors, right? So let's make sure we have our system of radiation set up well before we go any further. So here under system of radiation, I'm gonna have CW for cold water then for hot water i'm gonna have hw and then finally for hot water recirculation we're gonna have hwr and now if you want to tag your system right if you do tg for tag see now you have your tagging automatically so uh, obviously you will have to customize your pipe tag to show whatever you want if you want to show the the size of it you would have to um, modify it accordingly so out of the box Revit has the system uh, abbreviation tag you also have the pipe size tag uh, and you can uh, com combine those two I actually like the six inch and then the abbreviation CW for cold water, so they know the size of the pipe. I don't need the diameter symbol. Uh, most pipes are, are circular, so it doesn't really matter. Keep in mind that any other video that I refer to during this video, you can find the link to any of those down there in the description. And if you have any questions regarding the content of this video, go ahead and leave me a comment. I'll try to answer it as soon as I can. And that would be a great time to remind you to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any notifications on our new videos. We'll probably do a separate video on tagging on its own. It's a whole topic. I don't want this video to get too long. Uh, but what I do want to show you guys is if uh, you want to create, let's say, a storm water system, right? So you could say, let's take a look, for example, at sanitary, right? Typically, a lot of people tend to associate is sanitary with storm because they're both drainage but the important thing to note is if we go under type properties you can see that the system classification for a sanitary system uh, by the way let's rename this so that we don't mix things up i can call this ajs sanitary and this ajs sanitary is the system type pretty much a system name Keep in mind that that's completely different from the system classification, which is like the mother system type, pretty much. And those are again, hard coded on Reddit. So if we want to create a new system uh, for storm drainage, you need to know what you're gonna be calculating with it, right? So from 
So in two, I believe 2014, the International Plumbing Code changed so that you have to calculate the rain water flow in GPM as opposed to square footage. It, so the, the sanitary system itself wouldn't be too useful for me because the way it calculates flow, it's with drainage fixture units. So with storm, you don't have drainage fixture units. You have GPM, gallons per minute. So in a storm system, in a storm drain system, you would have water flowing this way, right? Out of the roof drain, coming down your pipe. That's just similar to the hydronic return. If you were to push water out of the roof drain, then it would be a supply. So supply would be going this way and return going this way. So I'm gonna choose hydronic return as the base of my new family for storm drainage by a pipe system type. So I'll stand here under hydronic return and I'll duplicate and I'm gonna rename my system and I'm gonna call it AJS storm. And I'm gonna call it storm main because at some point I'm gonna have a storm overflow. But for now, let's just focus on this one. So let's go to our type properties. And as far as graphics override, I think I'm gonna keep the, um, the standard pattern, which is solid by default. Uh, as far as color, pink. I feel like pink, right? And uh, then as far as weight, I'm gonna keep it as a standard with no overwrite. Then under my abbreviation, I'm gonna call it ST, right? And uh, then you have your fluid type, it's water. And I'm gonna keep the temperature of 50 Fahrenheit. Actually, I'm in Florida, so it might be like 60. But again, this doesn't really matter too much because I am not going to be calculating the pressure drop. So I'm not gonna be using the viscosity or the density, okay? So now when we do a pipe and we select our, our pipe system down here, it's gonna be AJS Storm Main. And here it is, this is my new storm system. So if I do TG for tagging, it's only identified it as a storm system. So this is high water circulation, hot water, and cold water. And I think I'm gonna do a separate video so I will learn how to create and modify tags to show like the diameter and the system abbreviation, maybe the length or whatever you're interested in, okay? But for now, we're gonna keep this video uh, up to this point and I hope you enjoy it and see you later And if you enjoy this video make sure you like it down there subscribe to the channel hit that bell so you get notifications Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video